Hi guys, it's Lauren, and this video is going to be my October cage tour. I cannot even believe it is October already. Like, n like seriously, I cannot believe. September went by so fast, and I'm actually very happy that it went by really fast because September was a really hard month for m me and my family, so I'm really gl glad that that went by fast, but I just can't believe it's October already. That means only two months till Christmas, and I'm so excited for Christmas because I will be going to Florida, and I just really can't wait because I feel like December is such a joyful time for everybody because everyone's always so happy, and that, that month of the year is really special because it is the uh, month that Jesus was born. Such a great month to celebrate his birth and um, just visit with family and all that other stuff. I'm going to stop talking now and just get on with the cage tour. Over here I have a treat ball that I like to use for their veggies. Um, I don't always give their veggies in here since this is the size of basically one cup and I give my guinea pigs two cups because each guinea pig should get one cup so um, of veggies a day. So only sometimes I'll put it in here. It just depends if I want them to have exercise or not. I have the green igloo which is always in my cage. Like yeah, it's really always in my cage. Then they have this little like froggy thing that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar on Valentine's Day. They have a fleece forest which I made by myself out of zebra fleece. And they have a paw print cuddle cup back there which I also made. They have an ABC um, chew block thingy rolling carrot. And this tunnel is always in my cage. Don't be surprised because it's always going to be in my cage like all the time because they just love it and it helps hold down both fleece blanket. It's just a grid tunnel covered with fleece. And then they have a little um, green towel right here to also help hold down the fleece. And also they love laying on it. They have their water bottles. This one's a super pet glass one. And then this one's a little giant plastic one that my friend DIY'd with some duct tape. It says L plus D and the L kind of like scooted it up a little from like me cleaning it all the time and stuff. But um, that basically means Lauren plus Dakota because she made it for me on my birthday and I didn't have Theodore yet. Then I have um, a like zebra little fleece that's like doubled up a million times to help absorb the water droppings. They have this chew, which I really don't know. It, I got it with my sun drops, um, so I really don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. Over there, they have their two pellet dishes and a little jingly ball. A lap pad, which I made. Their hay pouch and their litter pan. I give my guinea pigs oxbow hay, if anyone's wondering. They have their um, super pet woodland getaway, which is always in my cage. Above it, they have a fan. Fan isn't that high powered, so don't be too concerned about that. And it's not a lot of airflow that goes in their cage. It's just enough for them. It's really low powered, um, but it helps cool them off a little. And it's not on all the time. I only put it on when it's hot out. They have a nut nut nibbler to help block them from going back there and like pushing away the igloo or anything. So that is basically it in my cage. Cage is a 2x6 CNC cage, and now I want to get on to some updates. So, one big update is that Theodore is officially five months old. I can't believe how big he's getting. It feels like yesterday I just got him. Like, it, I don't know. It's just so crazy. Um, but he's definitely not as big as Dakota yet. But he's still small, but he still is growing like. To me, I feel like he's like growing up so big and stuff, and but he's still small. And the piggies just got their baths yesterday, and today I'm a, about to trim their nails and also clean their ears. Um, there's Dakota. So, yeah. Also, I'm thinking um, about buying new chloroplasts since... This chloroplast, you guys may know or may not know, that I did not order enough chloroplast the first time when I ordered chloroplast. Um, and I don't have chloroplast bottom. I have cardboard covered in a shower curtain. And I just really don't like that because now the fleece, like, I have to stick it out because or else they're going to dig it up. And then they try to eat the shower curtain and I don't want them to get sick. So that's why I'm really looking forward to saving up my money and trying to get one, which is kind of hard. Um, considering that I only make $3 a week, 
because um, I do babysit, but um, I don't have to babysit that much anymore because school is back in, so um, the people that I babysit for really don't need me because their kids go to school, but when they do, um, I get paid quite a bit, so it's easy for me to buy for my guinea pigs. But anyway, I'm still going to be saving up for it. it I'm getting it off of guineapigcages.com. Um, I'm getting a 2x6, of course. I really hope I can save up for it because it's going to help me in the long run. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please leave any comments or requests in um, the comments. Or um, also like this video if you liked it because I would really appreciate it. And please subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos if you want to see more. Bye!